difference between being prosecuted in state court and federal court normally is the amount of child pornography you have and whether or not you were sharing it and distributing it to others. Another criteria, of course, if you have a prior record for the same thing, and the age of the alleged victims. The younger the alleged victims, the more likely it is you'll be prosecuted in federal court. And lastly, again, if it's across state lines, for example, if you're using the internet, they can easily prove in almost every case that you are crossing state lines because it's a, the internet. And that is the main difference between federal and state. The penalty for federal child pornography is much more serious than state. For example, in state court, for possession of child pornography, there's a good chance you could get probation and some minor time in county jail. With child pornography in federal court, you're facing five years or much more in prison. Wallen and Clarich has been defending people accused of all types of sex offenses for over 35 years. There is no law firm to my knowledge that has been doing it this successfully and for this many years all through the state of California. In federal court especially, we have extensive experience and have been very successful. Federal prosecutions for child pornography are done very rarely, and when they're done, the U.S. attorney who prosecutes the crime is always very ready before the case starts. So you need Wallen and Clarich with our experience to help you if, God forbid, you're accused of such a crime.